My name is Lele Easy, aka Young Nino Brown, from Mozambique, the 258. I'm an artist, and I'm all about making great music, man. I'm mostly focused on hip hop, uh, but you know, we're in Africa. We're all so diverse right now, but you know, we do everything. But hip hop is the main focus always. I'm always gonna be rapping and stuff like that. Yeah. I always played around with music uh, since a young boy. Um, I have two older sisters. They were always playing R&B at the house, Ali, uh, stuff like that. I was a small boy, so they were using me as an instrument and things like that, you know. So I was always close to to music, and I uh, started rapping with my friends, high school thing, and it just be, it was just like we were just playing. Like for the longest time, we were playing, releasing music still, but not really for a profit or for any type of legacy or nothing like that. We were just you know playing around as kids. I started dropping mixtapes. Also, in that sense, because I was still in school. So dropping mixtape after mixtape after mixtape, and I start, f people start actually reacting to it. I thought, this is dope. You're actually good. You're actually very good. You're actually blah, blah, blah. And then I traveled to London, and I'm rapping there. And people are like, yo, you're actually good. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, mm, I think I should take this to another level. So I was just recording in London, recording, dropping mixtape, tr two mixtapes per year, things like that. Uh, working with other artists there, stuff like that. So when I returned to Mozambique, my country, I was like, okay, uh, I made a plan, you know, so I can support myself. I made a plan in London. I was saving up for a business that I opened, and that business was what supported my career in the beginning phase until I got signed to Jillback Records, and they kind of like, they just believed in me so much, and it's just been history from there. In the beginning, I, I wasn't even really like, that confident, I wasn't really believing in myself like that. The people, who, the person who actually was like, yo, we have to do this, was my producer, Oput, you know? Uh, and my friends also, um, Gui, Armenu, those are the guys, but they were still also studying abroad. I, I had returned already. But everybody was like, you know, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. So we traveled to South Africa, we do the, we signed the deal, you know? So when we returned, it's still Mozambique though. Yeah, you know I mean, we're still not big artists. We still haven't, you know, we don't have a single nothing. For the first seven months, we weren't dropping anything. You know, my manager was just like, no, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready, you know? The way we, the way we, we work in my label is like, we have to find middle ground, you know? So it's not like a, you're not releasing and that's it, no. You know, so it was like, you're not ready. And I understood like, yeah, maybe I'm not ready. Uh, so that time was a pretty frustrating time. It was like very frustrating, six months, nothing was happening. I'm just recording and stuff like that. But we finally dropped the song, you know, The Crew, 2015, July. Definitely Salty Soul. Uh, Salty Soul, they're amazing, you know, like I like their music, you know. There's, I can't really sing one now, don't ask me to sing one, you know what I mean? You know, but I, but I love their music. Um, you know, I watch their videos a lot. My manager is also a big fan of theirs, you know, and they recently worked with, uh, I'm not sure if it was recently, with Calligraph Jones, which is somebody from Kenya that I really appreciate. Exactly. I really appreciate him. I've worked with him before, you know, uh, but if I hadn't, I would say Calligraph, you know what I mean? 